بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر ہیئر ود انادر پرابلم وی ول سالو ٹوگیدر انادر پرابلم لیٹ می رائٹ دی پرابلم فرسٹ دی پرابلم سیز یو ڈرائیو your BMW down a straight road um, straight road for 5.2 mile at 43 mile per hour at which point you run out of gas you run out of gas then what you do you walk one point two mile farther to the nearest gas station in Twenty seven minutes. Now, what is the question? The question says, What is your average velocity? from the time that you started your car to the time that you arrived at the gas station this is our today's problem let me check it you drive your bmw down a straight road for 5.2 mile at 43 mile per hour at which point you run out of gas you walk 1.2 mile farther to the nearest gas station in 27 minute of time what is your average velocity from the time that you started your car to the time that you arrived at the gas station it is a simple problem as you can see uh, you know in motion in one dimension how we define average velocity 
we define average velocity at uh, we write it v bar as delta x over delta t where delta x is x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1 t1 is the position sorry x1 is the position coordinate at t1 and x2 is the position coordinate at t2 so simply we need for this question to find the net displacement x2 minus x1 during the interval under question that is the time you started your car to the time you arrived at the gas station right so let us move to solve it as you can see uh, uh, the problem has two parts first uh, you uh, drive your bmw for this much distance at this much speed and in second part of walking you move 1.2 meter distance in 27 minutes of time so total displacement is uh, evident first you move 5.2 mile then you move 1.2 mile you can add these quantities to get the total displacement then in the second portion of your uh, journey time is given but in first portion of the journey you have to calculate the time in order to get the total time lapsed so let us move solution so delta x is 5.2 mile plus 1.2 mile which is 6.4 mile so this is our delta x 5.2 mile with car and 1.2 mile through walking which becomes 6.4 mile is our delta x uh, we are talking of motion in one dimension and we are taking that dimension as x right now our delta t has two parts one part is time taken by car to move at this much speed how we can get it you know speed is distance over time so time can be calculated at distance by speed so you travel how much distance 5.2 mile with your car at what speed 43 mile per hour you can check 5.2 mile at 43 mile per hour so i divide 5.2 mile with the speed 43 mile per hour to get the time lapsed in my travel through car right because as I said, time is distance over speed. Then I add to this time, the time of walking, which is 27 minute, right? This is the time of walking, 27 minute. So I add to that, to first part of the time with the second time. So when you calculate this, you can check it, this time you will first get it in hours when you convert it in minutes it will be 7.3 minutes plus 27 minute so first portion of the time will be 7.3 minutes and walking time is 27 minute and i approximate it 
I write it as 34 minutes. So my total time is 34 minutes, which I can write in hours as 0.57 hour. We check these calculations. Check the calculations at home. You know the conversion, one hour is 60 minutes, one hour is 60 minutes, so you can make a conversion. So first four time is 7.3 minutes, then you add walking time 27 minutes, which becomes actually 34.3 minutes. We approximated 34 minutes. Now I convert it into hours, which is 0.57 hours. So let me encircle it. So it is my delta x in mile. It is my overall delta t in hours. So my, therefore, average velocity V bar for the set interval is my delta x or delta t, which is 6.4 mile over 0.57 hours, which is, let me use another color, when you make the calculation, it will be 11.2 mile per hour. I again tell you to check it. Check it. So our average velocity 6.4 mile over 0.57 hour when we calculate it is 11.2 mile per hour. This is our answer, our average velocity. Now we can understand this problem using a figure. Let me draw the figure first. In this plot, in, on this line I plot time in minutes. And here it is my position, x. This is my position in miles, right? Let this be one, this is zero here, this is origin, and this is one mile, two mile, three mile, four mile, five, six, up to seven I go. This is my seven mile. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right. On this side, we have ten minutes, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, forty minutes. This is ten minute. This 20 minutes here, let it be 30, and this 40, and then this may be 5, this is 15, 25, 35, right? Now, if you see, where is the gas station stopped? Let me first write here with... This is zero oh, and zero of time axis and position axis both. Fine. This is my starting point origin. Right? So O is my starting point. Now, if you see why is the gas station in a star, it is 6.4 mile away. So it's approximately uh, let me use some color. This is here. 
this is my gas station stop how do i know it from the figure i am moving from my starting point to the gas station overall 6.4 mile first 5.2 mile with car then 1.2 mile i walk so gas station is stopped from my starting point o at a distance of 6.4 mile right so this is here gas station stalled this is my starting point so starting point o right now first i drive i drive how much distance 5.2 mile 5.2 mile in how much time let us move uh, in 7.3 uh, minutes of time i travel 5.2 mile 5.2 mile in 7.3 minutes it's approximately here 7.3 5.2 i am doing it approximately to make you understand approximately here right so this is my right this is my driving portions this let me name it driving right this is the plot of my driving i drive 5.2 miles in 7.3 minutes of time right then i walk up to gas station i walk but in how much time overall 34 minutes so it is here here is my let me check it here is my gas station so this is my walking position time graphs approximate can understand it this is my walking this line shows my walking now if i join this overall i have started from this point and reach at this point so let me use some color here this line op this line op is my showing my overall trip and slope of op is my average velocity understand it first i drive at a constant speed of uh, 43 mile per hour i move how much 5.2 mile in how much time 7.3 minutes so i am showing it approximately then i walk i move to the gas station when i reach gas station the total time lapse it is 34 minutes approximately which is here and the gas station is at this much distance 6.4 mile away from my starting point so this is driving this is 
walking. So overall, it is showing my x of t. And this OP line shows my resultant motion. So what is this? This is my delta x. It is how much? It is, as I said, 6.4 mile. And what is this? This is my delta t. This thing is my delta t, which is 34 minute or 0 0.57 hour. So this figure one shows this problem graphically, right? Check it. Now the slope of OP, as I said, which is 6.4 minute delta X over delta T interval, which is 34 minute or 0.57 hour, gives me the average velocity for the whole trip. Let me check it whether I have missed something or not. It's okay. So this is all for today. Don't waste your time. Go through all these problems. It will be helpful for you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel. You can also comment in the comment box. Thank you. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum.